we are into the uh, fourth day of our uh, discussion about C programming. The first day we have discussed about uh, generally what is programming. We have taken a human being and uh, we did the activities through human being. The second day we have discussed about what is the general architecture of uh, programming languages. And yesterday we have seen a sample of C language. It's a small grammar, set of rules. We have discussed only four, that is allocation. Even allocation also, uh, we, we didn't allocate it for uh, fraction numbers. We, we did it only whole numbers. And then we discussed about the uh, storage. Uh, we, dis we saw that uh, we, have, we can store decimal, octal, or hexadecimal, or symbol, or alphabets. Uh, or negative numbers, whatever it is. We didn't, we didn't discuss about uh, how to store a, a fraction number. And uh, then we have uh, discussed about, about all the 22 operators of C in a very fast way, ultra fast way. And then uh, we have discussed about the decision making. If we said if is a very important, even though we have a for, while, switch, do, while, everything. And all of them are, uh, the basic thing is if, if you know how to use if, you'd be able to use everything. And then we used, to, if there is a thing we have to branch, we have discussed about go to. Today we will see that same thing, the beginning, and then we get into the exactly uh, how to start writing a program. And uh, this is what our concept. Our concept is how to learn the programming in an easy way. I know that it's, it's even though I say easy way, it's a tough way, any skill is tough. But uh, stick with me slowly. Uh, some of you are saying that, hey, I'm unable to do the first problem, but second problem. But some of you say that, hey, the third problem, they do it on a C methodology. Already, already they were very good at C, so they could do the thing. Uh, but still, whatever it is, uh, you may be knowing C or everything. You need to understand the requirements very clearly. You should, you should understand the problem. We have never discussed so far C. So we have discussed about only addition, Subtraction, multiplication, division. All your program should be on that. So if, if you don't know how to understand the requirement, then uh, your output will not be correct. Now, we are going to discuss about the programming. And before doing it, I might have confused you a lot yesterday, but forget it. I'll, I'll once again summarize it in five minutes, what exactly the thing is. Uh, oh, sorry. We discussed about allocation. Am I right? We discussed 8 bit, 16 bit, 32 bit. But for the time being, till we do some exercise, I understand your level is good. We are not going to use anything else. We are not going to use the character, CHAR, or short int. We are going to use only long int because I don't want you to confuse. So we'll be using always int a, okay? Whatever it is, instead of a, you put blue, red, green, or uh, what, whatever name you, the name can be anything else you wish. Don't worry about that. The advantage of using the int is we discuss. You can store such a big number, okay? It's about, uh, if you use int, that's actually a long int, but we let us call it as a int, okay? Let us not use the word long int right now, let's call it a int. So the maximum, the value can, can go from this minus 214 crores. It's actually a two trillion it is, but uh, two billion, but don't take worry about billion to go. Let's go by uh, crores, okay? So 214, so you can handle any big number without any problem. That's why, that's why we are using a int. Otherwise we can use something, but uh, uh, let, let us let us now focus. We are, our focus is going to be only on programming. So don't worry about this. Second thing is, that's what we say. We are going to store a decimal that is only 10. So I declared A, then I'm storing. Just to, you need to remember only these two. Don't worry about the CHAR, short in, long in, and long, long in, everything. No, no, this is enough. Same way, we are going to, do a is equal to 10. That means that I am storing a value of 10. You can store up to such a big numbers, up to such a small number. The moment you go beyond this, then that will not work. The same way we discussed about the operators. 
forget about all of them we are going to use only five so we are going to use addition subtraction multiplication division and modulus this is division of quotient a division of remainder that's all so enough this all we know it see that's why i'm trying to say that what we know from that we have to start writing programming so i always tell the people when they start uh, asking me about programming i know that the c language what you know is sufficient this is known to everybody then decision making we say we are going to use if but only for if we will use the state operators that is less than greater than less than or equal to greater than or equal to then equal to or not equal to so there is a big single difference between single equal to and double equal to this means you are comparing the other means you are assigning okay so this we will discuss now how to do the program so no no what i am trying to say is that just to remember only this much just to remember only this for this five operators and this relational operators less than greater than less than or equal to greater than or equal to don't have to remember see don't try to understand too much that's the problem then we will use go to enough man we stop here so go to if addition subtraction multiplication division modulus then declaration of integer and assigning of a decimal number we will not use anything other than decimal so don't worry about all the other values so this is this is the easiest way of doing thing so if i ask you if i just tell you the thing declare two variable and assign two values and add them and put the value into the third one it's as simple so we, we like let's see that how to do that it's because i use the board now because this cannot be taught in a powerpoint so powerpoint is uh, fairly done today I, i i just wanted to summarize what exactly i have told you yesterday within 5 minutes but how to how to use only with limited resource let us let us think of what is programming that is a trick programming is exactly split a very big problem into small small statements such a way that uh, one minute please i need to mute it sorry i I'll, i'll i'll come in a minute one minute please sorry uh, there's a call for my uh, for my mother so let me stop sharing then let's start the board so the trick of the skill once again comes here everybody as usual is asking me on the whatsapp or thing so i am unable to understand the problem uh, can you help me i i sorry 
if i help you that you will not learn uh, programming okay i will not help you to solve the problem but i'll help you to solve the other problem i'll start from today so far i have not given uh, much importance because i have given a very real life problems which uh, if anybody wanted to okay so if uh anybody have not got the reply it's fine because so far i have not uh given so much reply to people because i did not to see problem i did a normal day to day life problems okay and i used only addition subtraction multiplication division and uh, i i do not want to solve those problems right now because if i if i solve them uh you will you will not learn you will you will never do it that that's not the right so uh even even a very small problem onwards i want you to solve it i do not want it so it start from the see i will help you in the beginning i will help you you do it at the end is not right it is actually like this that is what happening on our society i take you to the beach i say that oh god god don't don't put your leg on the sand your leg will become so sandy then so i carry you then i don't want my kids legs should be wet under the water so i take the kids then i take them into the boat then i carry with them i never allowed them to climb i was carrying the boat then i was carrying the ship go to the middle of the sea and tell my kid see that i have taken you from the shore to the middle of the sea i given you so much of experience now you have to swim and go back to the shore that is what happening now all this our entire uh, c programming classes everywhere everybody is giving you help at the early stage early stage early stage when you come to the critical problem that is when you go for interview when you go for everything else they said you solve it you are alone nobody will come to you when you are solving the problem in an interview and second trick is on the interviews one trick is there which uh, you may not realize you are asked to write the program on a paper not on the computer okay so in the interview somebody sits with you before but now it's fine now it is uh, online interviews it's fine but if they it may change in a few years in a year time when they change it they ask you to write the program in paper if you have a uh, advantage of writing a program in uh, computer is Uh, you can always do the corrections and everything, but in a paper, if you do it, I will know it. So, interviewer know it. So, uh, this is a practice to start from early stage, doing your own programming. Unable to hear. Anybody? Anybody have a problem in uh, my voice? My voice is. Sure. Okay. Is it clear, audible? Yeah. But I think you have a problem. Thank you. Thank you. That's enough. Somebody says audible. So, uh, so if everybody is having a problem, I should correct myself. Okay, it's fine. Now, so that is a problem. So we 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 will we will try to solve. And second thing is while solving a problem. don't say that it's a small problem no sir i i'll go for it no no don't do don't do that take take a pain and solve it i i give i give you a reason because uh, you you don't know what type of uh, interviews where it is and what type of problem it is i'll i'll not be giving you very very small problems to ask you to solve it okay and uh, most of time people uh, don't solve it okay so uh, that that's the reason and you know that uh, generally interviews don't have a, a very long time so initially it uh, go with a big companies big things it goes for a few days but normally uh, normal things become very start simple so please understand why i'm telling you now is i'm going to start how do i 
write a program how do i debug the program all techniques i do that okay i, I even I, how do i debug device driver everything is in a very very simpler way how do i do that first of all think you have written few steps you have written few steps okay write in english then then we will try to convert it and for example you have written 10 to red Twenty to blue, green. Thirty to blue. Am I right? Now, then you write. Red plus green. You have written this four lines. Now, the problem is you are given this to somebody. And the somebody has written into the boxes. Oh, 10 to red, 10. 20 to green, 20. 30 to blue, th blue. Then you have asked red and green to blue. Oh, 10 plus 25. Let's, now let's say it's uh, uh, 25. Then do that. The, the, the trick here is till you become a confident of programming, right now you should remove this guy. You put yourself, let us say I put it myself. But Understand one thing, there are two biologists now. There is two biologists right now. I have two phases now. One phase is the biology, I have written the commands. And I have another biology who is going to act as a uh, call process man. This time, I will not think. This time, I will think and write the steps. Whereas this time I will not think. I ask this guy to put them. Am I right? So this guy, I myself, Balaji, is going to execute one by one. You have written line one. 10 by red. Then I'll put 10 to red. 20 to green. 25 to blue. Red plus green is equal to blue 20, 30. Then I watch, I return finish. But fortunately, fortunately, when you do this, the programmer biology is a programmer biology. There are two biologies. One is programmer biology, one is process biology. The programmer biology has written the commands. I will go and see what is this. Then I'll see that, oh God, blue should have 30, it's correct. But you could have expected something else in your program, in your commands. If you don't get it, is the problem is, well, it's a problem. For example, let us let us trick. Let us do, let us do a small uh, trick here. I have four people. I have four people. I have given him 100 rupees. I have given him 100 rupees. If I give him 100 rupees, see, these are very, very important secrets, normally not revealed to you while you are being a programmer. Am I right? Okay. Programming is not a big task, it's, it's a very, very simple task, but you should learn by practicing how to do that. That's why I'm starting now. Before that, I want to tell you that some important information we where or all we do mistake that that is what i'm trying to say uh, because you are going to move with c language the c c language is designed by Denis Ritchie, not you so 
the your understanding of this language and his understanding of the language is totally different second thing is we have not practiced to do commands to others we always done by ourselves now we are trying to give it to others since we are trying to give it to others it requires lot of practice i i'll give you a small uh, example when i when i was in uh, doing a schooling days i i go to my uh, dad's my dad was working in a government office i used to go him he was a clerk in a, a tamil nadu state government thing then he he has a one close friend okay uh, called subramanian ap we call aps they they were uh, together working one day uh, suddenly i went there uh, the other person got into the room my father was sitting outside his friend the aps got to the room i told him then he said hey, he has become officer but the problem is when i was sitting with my dad i found notice lot of things every now and then he will be getting the bill bell then the pun will go he said that uh, bring this bring that bring that he start uh, ordering the pun everything till yesterday he was doing everything suddenly he is ordering pun then i asked my dad hey why he is doing this he said clerk till yesterday now you know what my dad said if i would have gone there if i if i go there i will do same thing and nobody he doesn't know but then i realized over the period the problem is he was not a clerk he was a clerk till yesterday so went now he has been officially promoted to the officer but his mindset is only clerk he does not know how to get the work done from people so what he is doing is he is starting with a pun so that is should be your approach when you are doing programming you were till yesterday you were a a slave you listen to somebody what to do uh, but today when you start writing program you got a slave you become master suddenly so you are physically changed your discipline is changed to master that is programmer but mentally you are still a listener or a slave so you will try to put a blame on somebody you will say that oh god i have written a correct program man that the computer is not doing very well so always keep on you are trying to escape don't try to escape okay try to find the problem and solve it if any problem you have a solution because that computer behaves in a way okay it means that you should know how to tell them that we'll discuss that's what the today's discussion if you know understand that now you see that there are four people if i give 100 rupees this guy should give him this guy should him this guy should give him i should get 100 rupees here but for example i am getting here only 80 rupees what is the problem who out of these four people who could have taken the 20 rupees who could have taken the 20 rupees anybody out of these four people who could have taken the four people 20 rupees 20 rupees is gone now am i right yeah i have taken anyone can so fine so th- this is a perfect approach so that means that anybody could have, all the four could have taken or only one guy could have taken you don't know even the one guy so better you suspect your mindset while you are doing programming should be same your mindset should be similar mindset that means that what you have done is you have written four lines of code and on the fifth line you expect the result you didn't get it you didn't get it then suspect everybody suspect all the people don't say that oh god uh, these three people are right fourth guy is wrong okay so don't don't assume the problem is here only that is a mistake the, this the people used to tell a, a nice story in the uh, school days there is a story called mulla story that is what happened 
uh, see, we, we, we have to read all those things. They, all, they give you lots of uh, information to you, inference to you. One day, one day night, Mulla was searching at uh, a place. And somebody has asked, what is it? I lost my golden ring, diamond ring. Oh God, then that his friend is searching there. Then uh, another people, another people. Then about 10 people are uh, searching that place for the golden ring. Suddenly a stranger came. He said that, uh, what are you searching, Mulla? He said that, I have lost a golden ring. Then he also, he can help. Then the stranger asked one question. Where did you lose it? He said, I lost it there. Mullah showed a, a far away distance. Then he asked the Mullah, hey, you lost it there. Why are you searching here? He said, there is no light. Here only light. That is what, in my experience, most of these people, those who are doing programming, do mistake. Instead of suspecting everything, or problem could be somewhere else. Since you don't know that, you, you always concentrate the area where you know it. This looks to be a, a soft skill or it seems to be an advice or anything, you know, nothing. This is all my experience. Where I have guided, I have solved so many people's problem who stuck in the companies. They are, there are boards. Somebody will say that, uh, hey boss, Balaji, it has to be released tomorrow. They'll be sitting at night, 10 o'clock. The problem is not solved. Then I go and sit them. Ask, I don't do anything. I, I never do any help. Unfortunately, that I could not do it with, with you people remotely. That's a big, that's a big mistake. Uh, I, I, I'm asking only people, hey, your third line is faulty. Your fourth line is faulty, I'm telling. But if you're, if you're sitting before me, I'll tell them that let us, go walk, let us walk through line by line. That is what you should learn. When I walk through line by line, now I'll tell you that how to walk through line by line. That's the trick also is that you can do that. When I do walk through line by line, okay, automatically they find a fault. Okay, here's the problem. The problem is you have written a program with assumption and you see the code, you will never, see it's very difficult. Even though I said that, I told you today, the programmer Balaji and the process Balaji. I told you, that means that I change my face, but that is not easy initial days. When you change the process stage also, you will see that since, since it's your program, so if you could able to give it to some of, some of your friends, it's fine. But unfortunately, today it's uh, uh, because of this pandemic, that is also blocked. Everything is through mail. Now we'll see one important thing. One advantage you have it is, you gave it to somebody, your program, your commands, both are same. Then you ask him to execute. He has written the board. We have seen this blue red and green red blue red green blue rgb still remember now fortunately you can see this but unfortunately in the case of system computers you cannot see that both of them are hidden inside the chips you cannot see this guy and this guy okay you give a command, that guy will read the command. Okay, how do you give a command? You write it in English. That's what you call C. The English is called different set of rules. Then that is getting translated and give it to him, which he is going to read it line by line and do the operation. Okay. Unfortunately, this guy, you cannot see in the, in the what is inside the thing. So for that reason, you have to learn these two commands, very, very important thing, which we have not discussed so far. That is, how do you see what is inside the memory, which you cannot see, but you have given him, ask him, hey, Red, blue, green. You can tell this guy who the process, Baba, I want to see that. So you do me a favor. You just print red. This is a new one, print. Don't worry how it is printing. That's, that's a very, very big program written inside the system. Okay, 
to talk to the, the your process CPU, talks to the monitor and displays and everything, and finally it is coming. Okay. If somebody understands the print function, then you are gate. Okay, that's the final stage. Now, print red. Then what happened? Our man, who? You say, for example, red is equal to 10. Or you, let's start writing equal to, what I say. Instead of writing, you're moving 10 to red. I just put equal to both are same. Right now, in this case, both are same. I whether I write this or this. Unfortunately, your C compiler takes only this. So this is what you should do first. This should be the your first program. Understand? Red is equal to 10. And normally we put the line is complete full stop. Here we put semicolon, then semicolon. This you understand. Am I right? But unfortunately, when you say red inside the memory, the CPU should allocate somewhere red. There are two types of languages where, for example, if you take a Python, this will work. In C, it will not work. If you give it a compiler, that compiler will say that Balaji. You did not allocate red. So you will say that, hey, first allocate red. So what we have to do here is you have to write first int red. So it means that you are allocating a space in the memory, which is a size re integer. We told you that integer means you can go some big number, minus some 20 crores to a yeah, plus 20, 200 crores, sorry, 200 crores. Such a big number you can put. That means that if you put up to the big number, it can store here. Okay, don't worry beyond that. Do not, do not, do not get confused beyond this. It means that I am requesting the compiler to give a space in the memory and I am storing only 10. Now, when I do print red, what our man will do he will read. I told you that day itself. Inside the memory, all these things are numbers. Zero, one, hundred. When I when I compile this program, your symbol table. When I compile the program, your symbol table may give for red the line number fifty. So whenever you call red. For you, it's red because I know only red. I don't know. I don't even know that what number is assigned to it by the compiler. The answer, you don't know that. Don't worry about that. You know only red. For you, it is red. It means that there is a space inside the computer for you as a storage. On the red, when you try to save 10, this guy already translated 50. What My CPU, what it will do, it will write a 50. Now, see that what I have done, print red. So what the CPU will do that, go to the table. Am I right? Oh, 50 is there. Then from 50, oh, it is there already 10. The CPU will read the 10 now. Since you put print, it will put it on the monitor. You put 10 here. Okay. But uh, in C, uh, they instead of calling print, they just put one a small F outside, print F. What the same. Okay. So it's, it's actually called function. Print F means print function. To define, define that this is not by telling the print F, he is telling you that this is not a C command. Print is not part of C. It is a C function. It is written by somebody. Okay, then this C did not specify about print inside his C. If, if you go to his book, uh, the, the Tennis C is an inventor of the C language. On chapter seven, he will say input and output are not part of C at all. 
so your print of and all the things are not see so it's a, a separate program we will discuss about later okay let us not let's not uh, confuse so now i am telling you that how you should start doing a in a, a pc if somebody already know that it's fine for others so you should start like this you should start first of all assign declare a variable called red nothing wrong do the same then red equal to 10 print of red should be okay but unfortunately he has a method i told you na you can store anything there but how everything is stored in the memory everything is binary this will be stored as a binary 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 but sometime i would like to see as a number sometime i would do as a character or sometime i will see as a different type of number system that is like as whatever it is octal or anything so the same binary can be seen as a different so i should tell the compiler you read the red binary after reading the red i want it to show as a decimal you know initially for us decimal for that the c compiler has given us methodology don't worry what it is just to follow it because we are not going to go to learn print of now now we are going to learn programming when you are trying to learn programming your focus has to be only on that okay for example we say within quote percentage d that means d means decimal so i am telling this compiler hey you print the value of red this comma this syntax has to be there this three line if you write what you do is you are allocating a space in the memory then you are storing a value on the memory that is what you are storing you are storing a decimal that is what we discuss also we discuss allocation is integer and third one is we are printing the value this is output okay same way if 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 you if you say that if you this three statements you are confusing okay don't worry practice you will get it you will do the small don't see this is what the uh, exact syntax of the c language that is first of all you put int all small characters and then a name red any the symbol can be any name as you wish okay you can put number you can put uh, principal you can do mark anything you can do that let's say i put mark you put it's all your this is your thing don't worry don't try to follow anything here no rules you can put capital you can put small anything but the problem is there is a difference this game will make a difference between these two int for example i say that int mark capital m i have written if we put now small mark is equal to 10 the problem is he will go to the simple table for mark what is written simple table for mark some address line uh, 50 in the memory now when you see i i am trying to tell you what is required only here and that has to be very clearly understood by you that means that whenever you allocate something a, a space it is allocated here and when you store something that equivalent binary is stored here okay but that is no use for you because you are not going to see the binary or you are not going to use the binary nothing is by you these are all done by only for him but just know the information now when you see that when you are trying to uh, write 10 into the mark you have put m so if you write this program a uh, command give it to the compiler the compiler will tell you baba 
you have done a mistake i am unable to find mark unable to find mark okay uh, in english for example you say today electronics electrical physics physical for everything they know why they have given the names okay the names are all uh, for example memory flash okay compiler for 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 every uh, operations they will start giving a name am i right even our language also we know that same way they have given a, this one mark everything they call it as a variable why they call variable is you can change the value inside the name for example if you say that if you write a program mark equal to 10 10 will be saved here next moment if you say mark is equal to 20 20 will be saved here understand so what whatever you do it will be you can change the value that's why they call this as a variable so let us use the word nowadays a variable so far i have never utilized i never spelled the terminology called variable today i am just telling you the thing called variable so my variable i have i have named the variable as a mark and which is an integer this should be your first statement whatever you are going to use the memory a space everything has to be defined first that's why we call declaration second this you assign something third is whether you have assigned this coming or not it is assigned or not to check you say print of okay so this is the thing but unfortunately this alone he, he does not take because the c have some uh, framework okay uh, like like our uh, railway reservation everything there's a form you don't if you write a paper and give this uh, bala ji uh, from chennai to tanju uh, bangalore uh, sadapti express and so on so they don't accept they will give you a form they will give you a form the form every place you have to fill it it's because if everybody if you if i ask you to write a thing you will say that hey but i will write like this in a paper i will write balaji then i will write uh, bangalore to chennai to bangalore h 58 like this whereas if you ask somebody that guy will say ramesh you will say that chennai to bangalore ramesh yeah so the, the guy get confused everybody will write for example if we see if we see example we have only about about 100 people am i right so we have seen the program in our program everybody i have got about 30 40 people have uh, constantly right giving this programs everybody writes in different own fashion they write print they they write the own on a paper since i have not given how to write it i didn't tell them because i this because this is a creativity so i should not stop your creativity so i said that it is fine so generally if you if you if i know that i found out that your creativity is stopped because of your rules oh no sorry something mistake somebody has asked the question the ask you value will get printed no yeah correct the value is will be what is printed is a, the equivalent of the ask you value not the string that we will discuss i told you no the character uh, we will discuss see what is this beyond the scope of the class we will discuss after 8 uh, o'clock after 8 o'clock anything i am ready to answer okay now i don't want to because it's it's just, i want to understand the very basic crowd i want to go very systematically now 
now it's very clear so what we do here is we do print that will come on the screen now what are, what is happening is our man said a rule you have to write before writing the steps you have to write hash include int open bracket close bracket so forget about this what you write here is not matters but you write everything on this you understand so this is called framework within this framework if if you want after 8 o'clock you ask me i'll explain all these things now don't confuse me now we are discussing about the framework we are going to start now okay now here i say that int red red is equal to 10 if all small here should be all small if it is not small the thing then you say print of percentage d comma red i i'll just i'll just show you the uh, thing as a demo then then you will understand what it is so let me let me share the my screen okay see that hash include yesterday dot h okay this is called standard input output yesterday means standard io means input output dot h so whatever you try to do the now trying to give an output print or everything and int main then open bracket close bracket. this is what the always you should follow now i am trying to write a program here int red red equal to 10 print of percentage d comma red am i right everywhere i put semicolon then i do compile when i when i press this button uh, there, there are so many things we will discuss about that uh, tomorrow let's not worry about that codes okay do do first first let us let us not worry about the framework uh, today when i give a problem you better write on a paper and give it to me enough okay don't don't try to initially worry about these things then click this run button that will put 10 here okay so if if you change the value to 20 run it you get 20 here okay so this is this is as simple you should start see never 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 uh, uh shy if i say that see here i put how much here 1000 lakh crores i put 20 crore then i when i print it see i get 20 crore same thing 1000 black crore am i mean, right now you see here i just add one more zero i just add one more zero now see now i have now added 200 crores 1000 black crore 200 crores now i do the uh, run it you get 200 crores am i right but the trick is i add one more zero i add just add 300 crores i add 300 crores sir yeah the outputs are not visible sir outputs are not visible oh sorry you are right i did a mistake let me let me thanks i will <laughs> i what mistake i know that i i i so sure i'm i'm sharing the i suppose to share the screen okay i'm sharing it i share the thing screen i share 
okay now now it's fine so sorry thanks stop that see when 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 i say something and stop it i i am i'm learning i i told you na uh, this this uh, my second class and the first with the, i'm sharing this type of online screen the first time in the zoom class i was i'm a offline i always use the board and teach people so the mistakes you i see so you see that i put 10 now now this time you tell me now sorry you see the thing screen you see that visible sir the screen is visible yes sir yeah i've got 10 now okay now when i say that 10 to some to 20 lakh 20 crore see here 2 crore is actually 2 crore then seven zeros i see that then you see that here 2 crores am i right that i'll i'll tell you some tricks now that's why i wanted to say that but i don't want the trick to be uh, for the beginners uh, beginners test only this then see that 200 crore i have written now 200 crore then build it and execute it i get here 200 crore 1000 lakh crore 200 crore now you see here i just write now 300 crore all right i change the 200 crore to 300 crore see that see see the problem i have written now 300 crore but what i am getting now here is so minus if you want i can explain what is how you get this but the trick why i am telling you is this no it doesn't it doesn't i'll tell you uh, that, that, that is a problem one minute how my screen is that is what here i told in the powerpoint i told you that you cannot go beyond this value now let us cut this uh, value copy then we we write it here let us see that see now i put 214 crores 74 lakh 83 uh, 1647 let us see i myself has not uh, Try this. Let me try now for you. I got same thing. See that two hundred and forty one crore, seventy four lakh, eighty three thousand six forty seven. Now we just only one one extra. Okay. Now we add only one extra. Now instead of six forty seven, I put six forty eight. See, I put minus. So I given a positive value. Now I got a negative value. No, what I am trying to tell you is that don't. try to like this you will face lot of problem in c that's why you better play within the rule okay now i give you one more thing here up like a print of i put now scan of this is for input percentage d comma and red don't ask me why it is because it's a c syntax okay i'll tell you the real meaning for later now when you come to the next level of pointers everything i'll explain to you but here you say you put and if you wanted to have a scan of if you use scan of if you declare the name of the variable as a red when you do scan of you should put and when you put print of you should put red now let us let us run it Okay, it's waiting for you to because you are asking. Scan of means uh, getting the input. That's I don't know that that uh, uh, they put a, they put a use call like a print. They will result get in something. They put scan of. If you push forty five and you enter, so it's printing forty five. I I given forty five. It's printing forty five. Now let's see the small thing. 
I put blue equal to red plus 10. I add one more red comma blue. No, do learn mistake. See, I tell you if, uh, how how to compile it and everything. But tomorrow I'll tell you that all those uh, uh, which program you can use it is fine. But I, I use something called code block. Okay, this called code block. But you can use any any compiler, whichever you want. It doesn't matter. Now you see here I written sixty seven. That guy added. Oh God. I put, I, I just, see, I did a mistake. I print red only. I didn't change it blue. I given 56, it's given 66. This is very small. Now, see, the trick is that small trying. For example, somebody has asked the problem now. How, how you can try by yourself all these things by, you see, I put C-H-E-A-R, red. Red is equal to 78. Print of percentage D, comma, red. See, like you, you have it. You have these compilers. What stops you from trying this? Now you see here, surprise. Everybody said it will not work. Now you see here, I'm getting 78. It is perfectly working. I told you this is an integer. I say CHAR is an integer. I proved now it's integer. It is only here. If I put here, let us say I put here 85. Then I put here percentage C. It is not here. It is not on declaration or it is not on assignment. It is at the printing. Now you see here what you see. You will get U. Because U is a you equivalent asking for uh, 85. Okay, no, no, what, what I'm trying to tell you is that do not, you by writing a program, you will not spoil the computer. If you, if you write a program and spoil it, please let me know. Microsoft or Google will give you a job. Am I right? That is what they are looking. Today, if you go to spoil a computer by writing a program, you are the best guy. Am I right? Do it. So, by assumption, you are thinking that Will I spoil the thing? Okay, so. Okay, so now. The trick here is somebody has asked why in scan up I have to give a hand, why in printf alone I put red. I'll, I'll, explain, I'll explain to you after. Uh, uh, Eight o'clock. Yesterday I've given the hint for that, but I don't know whether the, you have catch the hint or not. Okay, that is off the record discussion. Now we have two discussion going on. It's fine. I'm very happy. Uh, something with the on the record in the class, and it's off the record. That is fine. So this you try. Keep on changing the values. I put in. See, he put here. The moment I put, he says that int 8 or 16 or 32 or 64. But see, he didn't write uh, 128 or 256. Am I right? See, nowadays they follow only this int 8 and everything. Okay. Now I just follow int. Fine, forget it. Red. Then I put red is equal to minus. Then you print. See that? It's giving off. What is what is the thing is minus at all? Because I put C. I put D here, do the experiments. It's all, don't keep on, keep, see, lot of things you do experiments and come to me and I'll explain to you. You have a compiler, you have everything. Okay, I don't know what stops you. We will discuss tomorrow. If it, if we could not able to do it for tomorrow, uh, I could not convince this programming thing. We'll extend by another day. Don't worry about that, okay? Don't, don't uh, worry, I'll, I'll make it. Uh, but please understand, this is sufficient. What I've written now, that means that I have discussed that integer and we don't use anything other than int. Never worry. At the same way, never worry about beyond this, this. Don't worry about all these things. 
we are to be a programmer means see you know that there's a there's a nice story is there in bagabarda people say that the drona will ask everybody hey uh, dharma what do you see he say that hey i see a big uh, forest then he ask duryodhana he say that hey i see a tree then uh, he will ask bima he say hey i see a bird then you saw arjuna arjuna see i see eye of the bird then he said okay you launched the uh, arrow he never allow all other people same way here your focus has to be only programming nowhere anywhere else so if you ask that why that you will all there is a there is a lot of possibility getting deviated if you ask me that if i give percentage in some that what will i give why print f no don't do that this is all the compilers rule so we have discussed int we don't use character we don't do anything else same way assigning only whole numbers either positive or negative it's fine both are acceptable then we do print of this same way we discuss about scan scan of this video is that so you can always uh, view it and i'll go it send it you can view that okay then you do the thing uh, by with this information my problem if i if i could able to solve my problems okay what i'm going to give it today today means the end of today or tomorrow morning one of them because it depends i have another session after this to somebody some main industry people so after completing i i what will i do based on that i will do that uh, so this is this is what just required for programming i told you that don't think beyond this you start writing only here and you are going to write only the four thing let let me stop the sharing i'll go back to my uh, board uh, which i am very convenient we have so many years of practice months i cannot just get away with uh, uh, maybe uh, next time i am learning for my daughter how to use the uh, ipad to do these things feels for this very nice maybe maybe from next class or not i'll start using that okay so i, I, I we are all old guy so no, it doesn't matter it doesn't stop anything so we discussed about int don't worry about others in declaration all very easy but all all very easy the moment you see the moment you become a good programmer you will listen to all my things will be one day but if you are not programmer you never learn these things next thing is we use decimal decimal that is 10 100 20 200 that there is a whole number decimal whole number we do not use fraction we do not use with other number system we do not use octal or hexadecimal or symbol or alphabet anything ascii or whatever it is then third thing is we use statements operation we use addition subtraction multiplication division with uh, quotient division with remainder or modulus then decision we use only if this is sufficient now onwards by tomorrow i will once again emphasize how these things are working enough afterwards it's only exercise 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 how much if somebody could able to do on these things i i will give somebody uh, the top mode uh, the example of this if you solve it you can go to the next level i will not go to the next level unless otherwise that next level means i will i will i will uh, assign another session after some time maybe it may take the people those who are attending now uh, somebody may go fast somebody may go slow so based on that i will assign a different session otherwise no point i can explain the whole c or oh, you want to know about today all the structures pointers and everything i can i can teach for even another two days very perfectly but tomorrow you will forget everything there is no use i'll bet but better using this four you master about programming all the other things will be one one day i i will bet when you when you are discussing about pointers or when you are discussing about uh c is i strings or when you discuss about arrays they are all very easy once you learn the programming because then you will know that why i need array why i need string why i need pointer but when you when you have not started yet driving a car then 
you will not know that why I have to put in first gear for starting, how to, why I'm driving at the high speed, I'm going on love for fourth gear, fifth gear, that you should know that. Okay, so same way here, we, we will discuss about once again tomorrow, by the time I'll try to give you a problem. One thing I'm telling you that please attempt my program, what a problem I'm giving. If you do not solve it, nothing wrong. If you do not solve it, if you're, if you're getting confused, it is natural. Don't try to take it to your heart. I will slowly make it to you. Okay, solve it. But give me some time because I'm not, I'm, I'm not a magician to open your uh, brain and put a skill. Then uh, everybody will become gold in Olympics. Am I right? Everybody will be putting a, this one, a best, big, best artist. Everything, like all the skills require a practice, which somebody have to understand you. And based on you, I have to fine tune it, which it is very difficult. I cannot one day, I cannot, even without seeing you, I cannot understand you. I'm watching your programs and watching the so keep the communication live and then make sure that you attempt there's nothing called right solution whatever you try it send it to me but don't send it to me anything without trying by seeing your problems that I don't understand that is not right we have discussed for four days now you can start solving one step write something and say that I don't get it I because there's no way I can help it if you refuse to sit in the car seat, if you refuse to put, if you refuse to put the leg in your water, I cannot teach you swimming. I cannot teach you driving. So it's it's ball is in your court. Let us discuss once again tomorrow very clearly how to use this. That is, we have introduced two things today extra: print up and scan up. Nothing to be discussed more. Any problem, lot of complex problem can be solved with this thing what we discussed today. These four are sufficient to solve some good problems. So only then you have to go for the next step. With that, already, already we have uh, exceeded about a few minutes, fine. Let me, let me stop here and then we come to the discussion for the other thing. So let me, let me uh, stop the recording of uh, today's thing and uh, let us call our informal discussion. Okay, that has become very interesting. I, I, I never thought, but that is actually becoming a very good thing. Any, 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 anybody sit here discussion? Ask. We we'll discuss. I, I, I'm now starting this, stopping the recording. <laughs>